everyone, the theme here, and I'm here to give my WrestleMania thoughts and WrestleMania results. Okay, look. <laughs> there are certain matches that, first of all, this thing had a pre-show, but this event was long as hell. It was just like, they tried to cram in so much as as possible, so they had no choice to have a fucking pre-show for it. But there are certain matches of this pre-show that felt like at least one of them should have been in the actual fucking event. Which comes to my point about the United States Championship. I remember when John Cena was United States Champion and he was doing his weekly challenge on Monday Night Raw. Now, ever since he's been injured and he's not, he hasn't been champion, the title has just, you know been on a slippery slope as of late and there have been so many people complaining about the mid-card titles for years as far as they need to be elevated more that something needs to happen to the mid-card titles to have them mean something again you have a united states championship match on the pre-show the pre-show so kalisto versus ryback now i actually you know picked ryback i thought he was going to counter the salisa del sol and uh, it didn't happen. Right back lost. Kalisto retains. Where does he go from here? Um, Lucha, Luton, are the Lucha Dragons still going to? Anyway, they're a tag team, and it's like, yeah. Oh, well. Maybe something will happen on Raw. More on that later, as far as the United States Championship, perhaps. But Kalisto retains on the pre-show. Oh, well. A lot of people didn't accept Ryback anyway. Motherfuckers are like, oh, no, not Ryback. Don't put the strap on him, please. But anyway, <sighs> Total Divas versus Team BAD and Blonde. Total Divas win. That's basically that. They tried. They really tried to make this match mean something as far as certain things going on in the match. But it just didn't. It, it, it just didn't. It, all this did was promote the show Total Divas, which... Most wrestling fans don't even fucking watch. So, okay, you have Usos versus the Dudleys. <laughs> Usos win. Duh. Why is anybody surprised about that? This is on a fucking pre show, which is very surprising. And they have both of the fucking Usos jumping on Dudleys and they're laying on tables and they win. Oh, well. It's, it's the, the match still didn't fucking mean anything. It just didn't. It, it, was, it wasn't for a number one contendership, it wasn't for the tag team championships. It just didn't mean any fucking thing. The only good thing about that is that the Usos were on the pre-show. <sighs> or the Flying Romans. The Flying Roman Reigns tag team. That's what I call them because they're just as fucking bland. Okay. Ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. All right. I hope, it, I, I, hope I didn't have to fucking do this, but I'm a man of my word. I apologize to each and every fucking one of you. I said in my prediction video that if Zack Ryder <laughs> wins the Intercontinental Championship, I will stand right here and apologize. Well, that's what I'm fucking doing now. I apologize to each and every fucking one of you for getting that prediction fucked up and wrong. I thought that Sami Zayn was going to win it because I thought that he was the most deserving. But this is WWE. They don't do shit for the people that deserve shit the most. Oh, God, Zack Ryder, Intercontinental Championship. This is his second singles title in WWE. No, the Internet Championship doesn't count. I'm talking about major championships in the WWE. Oh, so where are they going to go with this? Where are they going to go with this? I may have more on that later, but, I would, oh, God, Zack Ryder winning. <laughs> wow, surprise, surprise, damn it. I mean, he took Neville's place. Could that have a meaning? I don't know. Was Neville supposed to win? Oh, I don't know. Well. At least it was better than The Miz. Because, as we all know, dick licking plus animals equals The Miz. Zack Ryder. Wow. Where are they going to go with this? I don't know. But, once again, fuck. I apologize. I didn't think. I thought he was a... Okay. Zack Ryder had a better chance than Sin Cara. He had a better chance than Stardust. But, above... Look, Dolph... Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, oh, and he, of course, the Jizz was just, you know. But I didn't think in a million years that Zack Ryder would have a WrestleMania moment and winning a title there. But, again, I was wrong, and I apologize. New Day Rocks. New 
they Saiyans? Ginyu Force? That? <laughs> okay, I kind of marked out for that. They had a fucking box of booty and they tipped over and, and cereal falls out. And these motherfuckers come dressed like a Ginyu Force. Okay, fine. I was like, all right, but I know they're not going to win. I knew that the League of Nations were going to win this match because the belts were on, they weren't on a fucking line. They just weren't. It would have made sense for the New Day to win. Even though League of Nations is blah, 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 and they're not going anywhere, but League of Nations made more sense winning because the belts weren't up for grabs. Then what happened afterwards? You got King Barrett that gets on the fucking microphone and oh, we're, 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 no three men can beat us. So uh, HBK comes out, Mick Foley comes out, and Stone Cold come out. We all know where this is going. We all knew where it was headed. We all knew that there was no way that the League of Nations were going to fend off these three. Wade Barrett, King Barrett gets pulled out by New Day, and uh, the rest of the three of the League, League of Nations just get their asses whooped, super kicked, mandible called, and stunnered. Okay. Then the New Day tries to make it a comedy thing and tries to get in there and tries to make all three of them dance. Shawn Michaels obliges. Mick Foley kind of obliges. You know damn well Stone Cold wasn't. Stone Cold stunner to Xavier, Wo Xavier Woods. Again, surprise, surprise. Who was surprised by that? No one! We all saw that coming as soon as that was transpiring. We just did. But anyway, it doesn't hurt the New Day that they lost because they still have the belts. And League of Nations, they're, they're just not, no, they're, they're not going to go anywhere. They just have bragging rights at this point. So League of Nations beating the New Day, it was just a match in the card that served little to no purpose because once again, the belts weren't up for grabs. Uh, <laughs> Suplex City, bitch. 13 suplexes were delivered to Dean Ambrose during that match. They tried to make it seem like Dean Ambrose had a chance with the weapons. It was a good thing that Brock didn't get a hold of the weapons and start beating Dean with it because, you know, that, that would have been the end. But Dean Ambrose... Uh, Brock Lesnar. Um, yeah, I picked Brock because there was just no way, and it wouldn't have made any sense for Dean Ambrose to beat the one that was the one to put a one on 21 and 1. Now it's 23 and 1, but more on that. Brock Lesnar beats Dean Ambrose. Surprise, surprise. Not really. I thought they could have done more in the match. I personally thought that there could have been some bloodshed or they could have uh, been flying all over the place, not just Dean Ambrose flying. There could have been more done to make Dean look stronger. But then again, this is the beast. And the way he's booked, there's no way that, that no, it just wouldn't have looked right. So anyway, <laughs> a Snickers commercial was kind of funny. <clears throat> It, it was, because it had Ric Flair, it had Dolph Ziggler, and it had Zack Ryder, and then it had Charlotte. It was kind of cool because it made sense. That was more entertaining than certain matches of the show. So then you get, now, there's no more Divas title. No more of that. That's out. Now it's the WWE Women's Championship again. And the belt Looks just like the WWE World Heavyweight Championship with a white strap and a red background, which is pretty fucking cool to actually have that. The, don't stop calling them fucking divas. These are women's wrestlers. These are, you know, yeah, please. I remember what was called the Ladies' Championship a long time ago. Now it's called the Women's Championship again because during the Attitude Era, it was called the Women's Championship. I don't know why they got rid of that because uh, that made no sense to me, but it's called the WWE Women's Championship again, and Charlotte retained because of Ric Flair. Now, these girls, oh, no, they're not girls, they're women. They tore the fucking place apart. They did. They performed. They did. Which I want to bring up the two best matches of the night. I skipped the match for this purpose. It's either the triple threat for the women's championship or it was Jericho versus AJ Styles. These two tore it up. These two matches tore it up. These two matches were great. These two matches were everything that you would have expected from these performers. 
and Jericho ended up winning, which surprised me. I thought now, so so are they going to have a tiebreaker? It's two wins and two wins. I didn't think that AJ Styles was going to lose, especially at his first WrestleMania. But he did come from TNA Wrestling, and I'm not sure how they feel about that. But they put on a good match. I don't know, in my opinion, I don't know which one of these two were matched tonight. If anyone has any other opinion about it, as far as throwing the name in the hat on which one is that match tonight, feel free. Go ahead. I want. I would love to read your opinions. I would love to hear your opinions. But those two matches were good, and I got one right and one wrong. I thought that AJ was going to win. Charlotte winning because of Ric Flair. I even set that on my predictions because Ric Flair, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going in there. You're not going in there. Yeah, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. Becky got pinned. Sasha was being held by Ric Flair outside of the ring. Go check that match out if you haven't already. It was a good match. Triple threat. And AJ versus Jericho. Good match. Yeah. Uh, okay. Undertaker wins. Saw that coming. The funniest thing about that match is that no one interfered. No one came out. Even though during the match, um, Shane McMahon had some fucking bolt cutters and, you know, he cut bolts of the cage and the cage, you know, part of it slammed down and they ended up outside of the cage and then the moment of the night ensued. Undertaker was on the announce table, Shane McMahon on top of cell, Shane McMahon goes off, Shane McMahon misses, that cost him the match. So what now? What now? Undertaker losing, I don't, I didn't think that was going to happen. But now Shane McMahon losing, he's out. There's nothing for him. He's not, uh, but I don't know. We just got to tune in for Raw, and I most likely will have a report about that. But, yeah, either or, yeah, it was the carrot dangling. Yeah, here, get the carrot, get the carrot, carrot, carrot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Now. Shaquille O'Neal came out, and I was like, please don't let that fucker win. DDP came out. I was still like, don't let that fucker win. Never been really much of a DDP fan. He showed pussy all the... I, 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 look, that was, that was pussy to me, not Diamond. I, I wasn't a big DDP fan. You can slam me all you want. But if you do, opinions, please. Comment. Don't just downvote me and run, because you'll prove that you're a pussy, just like that symbol. But Shaquille O'Neal, thank God he didn't win. Big Show, thank God he didn't win. <laughs> DDP, for me, thank God. Tatanka, thank God. Huh. <laughs> Baron Corbin wins the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. So what does this entail? Are they going to go somewhere with this win this time? They fucked up with Cesaro. They gave it to Big Show last year, which was like, eh, that was just a fucking present to you because Big Show barely had any WrestleMania moment. This time, this time, Raw, Baron Corbin can challenge for the United States or Intercontinental Championships. My money is for the Intercontinental. Zack Ryder, one day reign. Baron Corbin, Intercontinental Champion. I would love to fucking see that. Or <sighs> Kevin Owens just gains that back. But then, what if, what if Corbin challenges for the United States Championship and takes that belt? That means that the Andre Giant Battle Royal would have actually fucking meant something to be in an event. Especially to be up as far as almost the main event. I didn't think that the the, the, the battle royal was going to take place then. I thought it would have been at the beginning of the fucking show, like before the ladder match even. But Baron Corbin, hey, do something with that WWE, please. Do something with that shit. Okay, so the Rock, the Cock, whatever, he comes out. Ugh. Okay, to to promote to, to actually announce the um, WWE attendance record was broken. Okay. <laughs> That, that took too fucking long for him to come out. He had a flamethrower or, or a flame maker or whatever. And then there was letters that said rock. He set them on fire. I saw that coming. I'm like, all right, look, just get this over with. Just get this over with and, and, and just just end this fucking thing. Because we already know that the main event was next. And everybody was like, oh, God, no, not this fucking shit. as a fucking main event. But rock comes out. Then the Wyatts show up. The Wyatts didn't have a fucking match at WrestleMania, which made absolutely no fucking sense to me. Because if you're going to have Bray Wyatt as a key player, you have to have him doing fucking something. But they didn't have the Wyatts doing anything in this event, and it's just, uh, uh, no, the fuck, fuck that. Anyway, the Wyatts show up, and it was a battle of words between The Rock and Bray. That went pretty well, in my opinion. Still a waste of time, but it still went pretty well. So, The Rock was like, okay, yeah, yeah, let's have a match. Eric Rowan versus The Rock. 
Why? I understand it was an impromptu match, but six seconds it took for The Rock to beat Eric Rowan. That was a total burial of him and the rest. It's just that, okay. Rowan wasn't really that high to begin with, but six seconds, damn, that's just fucked all the way up. And then you have Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt trying to get to The Rock. And then John Cena comes out. Why? I understand that, okay, he wanted to be a part of WrestleMania. And thank goodness he didn't have a real match. It was just him and it just Cena and Rock fending off the rest of the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt and Eric Strowman. And, uh, again, waste of time to hit their signatures, whatever. Again, that took 20 fucking minutes to do, pretty much. And it's like, why? Cena coming out, uh, still better than the Miz, though. And then, and then, you have the main event. This, this is one of the things that people have been dreading for months. Roman Reigns versus Triple H. Triple H's entrance was pretty good, even with Steph Stephanie in it. You know, it, 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 it made, you know, sense to actually have that. And to actually have those followers with replicas of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and following Triple H to the ring. I thought that was pretty something. That, that, that added some flavor to it. Roman Reigns' entrance was lackluster. He's not coming to the crowd anymore because WWE is fucking scared, in my opinion, of people hitting him as he comes through that crowd because he's getting booed. He's not accepted. He's not worthy to a lot of people as far as being WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He's just not. I'm surprised there wasn't any interference in this match except by Stephanie, because Stephanie was out there. But there are a couple of things happened that it's like, uh, goodness, no. That was just, uh, Roman Reigns wins, and now he's a new champion. He's a champion for the third time in fucking four months. This is, uh, all right. They could have done this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better. But they, and a lot of people was like, turn Roman heel. He's already heel. That's not going to work, people. The main reason why that wouldn't work is because what incentive does WWE have to turn in here? You guys are still watching and buying your stuff. I don't. Uh, they don't see them losing their money. You guys basically sold out WrestleMania. You guys still buying the stuff. You guys still buying replicas from WWEShop.com. You guys are still doing that. I mean, I buy my replicas from most most of the time from different places. Yes, I'm guilty of supporting WWE as well. However, I'm not the one saying that they should change and still complain and watch almost every fucking week and so on and so forth and saying hashtag cancel WWE Network. I'm just one to say, if you want WWE to change, then you have to hit them where it hurts, the wallet, the money. But enough about that. Roman Reigns is WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He speared Stephanie during the match, which was kind of cool. And... Triple H almost used the hammer, but didn't work. He misses Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns spears him for the second time in the match. One, two, three, and he's the champion. And I was like, yeah, that's it. Um, again, this WrestleMania felt like a long episode of Raw. It could have did a lot worse, but the, the, it could have been a little bit better. I just... Everybody just dreaded the main event. The main event was the most dreaded thing about the show. And once we got past that, it's like, uh, Roman Reigns was getting booed to all hell, and he will get booed to all hell on Raw. He will get booed as long as he's champion. He will get booed against no matter who his opponent is, except fucking Cena. But uh, I don't know. I, I would like to get your people's... Uh, you people, please... I want your feelings about this. I want your comments. I want to know how you rated this WrestleMania. How did you feel about the WrestleMania? What was your favorite match of the night, if you had any? Where do you think the storylines are going to go? Where do you think, you know, how do you think this WrestleMania plays out? Because it set up a couple of things, but this is WWE. I don't think they'll fucking pull the trigger. It's funny, you know, how things just work out and certain things didn't I predicted certain winners and certain people won and certain people did not I just so happy that the Jizz didn't win an Intercontinental Championship because again he didn't fucking do anything in the fucking match he did absolutely nothing in the fucking match nothing 
at all. Shane McMahon did more in his Hell in a Cell match than the Jizz has done his entire career. The div not the Divas, the WWE Women's Championship match was way better than any Jizz match. Think about that. Anyway, comments, opinions, I would love to I would love to hear them or read them. So yeah, that's my WrestleMania results and opinions. Please, I wait to hear from any of you. So yeah, drop kicks, body slams, throwing motherfuckers over the top rope, both be hitting the floor. That happened a lot during this fucking shit. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.